What's up guys, today we're going to be installing Super ATV's spare tire carrier on this Can-Am Commander, so let's get right to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is come to the rear of the machine and where the cage bolts onto the frame, you're gonna have one 15 millimeter bolt. We're gonna go ahead and remove it. Once you've removed this bolt, you're gonna grab the only 10 millimeter bolt in your hardware kit and we're gonna bolt it in straight through the factory hole and then we're gonna install our bracket and install our nut. So we're gonna take our bolt Thread it in. Just go ahead and fully tighten it into the cage. Then you're gonna grab your bracket. So you have a left and a right bracket. The only thing that distinguishes the two is the notch. So there'll be a notch that lines up with this factory tab right here. So whenever you slide your bracket on, it should be able to rotate on the tab just like so. So what I like to do is go ahead and get my bracket on. Take, again, the only 10 millimeter nylock nut in the kit, run it up, and we're just gonna run it up with the impact and snug it. We're not gonna fully tighten it just yet because we will have to make some adjustments once we get our spare tire carrier on the machine. So right there, it's snug enough to where it'll kinda hold it in place for us. Now we're just gonna repeat the same exact steps on the driver's side. So now we're gonna remove our bolts going through the roof into the cage on both sides. So now we're gonna grab our right side tube as well as our M8 by 45 millimeter hardware and an M8 nylock nut. This tube's gonna install to the exact same hole where we just removed the factory hardware out of the roof. Take it, get it lined up with the hole. Go on the inside and start our nut. Like I said, the hardware is gonna come out of the same exact location that we just removed our factory hardware from. And we're just gonna take a 13 and 13 and go ahead and snug it up. You don't want to fully tighten it. You want to be able to maneuver it a little bit, but you want it tight enough to where it's going to stay in place just like so. Now we're just going to repeat the same steps for the opposite side. So now we're gonna grab our spare tire carrier and get it installed to our bracketry. So now we're gonna grab the last of our hardware out of our kit. It'll be a 10 millimeter headed M8 bolt. We're gonna slide these bolts directly through the two holes on our bracket. It's going to go through our spare tire carrier and on the inside we're going to install our nut. Just 
install our nuts onto the back side. And we can go ahead and fully tighten these nuts. Now we're going to repeat the same steps for the opposite side. So now we're going to take our clamps out of our kit, lift up our spare tire carrier, line up our tube to our spare tire carrier, and take our hardware, get it started. And I like to kind of run it up a little bit that way it holds itself in position. Now that we've ran it up, we're just going to go ahead and continue installing the rest of our hardware. And then before we fully tighten anything, we'll go to the opposite side and do the same exact thing. So once we have our clamps fully tightened, we're going to go through and fully tighten the rest of our hardware. So now that everything's fully tightened up, it's time to install your tire. In the hardware kit, you're going to notice that we send lug nuts for you to mount your spare tire to the machine. Once you've done that, that's all there is to it to install Super ATV Spare Tire Carrier on this Can-Am Commander 1000. Be sure to check the description below for a link to pick yours up today. And while you're there, drop a like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.